And this is... I haven't even read it, so... Okay. Me neither. And this came from who? Uh, I was given this by the Assistant Chief. Assistant Chief of Police, Julie Smith, correct? Yep. Okay. Correct. Now, are you guys... You, you said you haven't even read it. Has anybody here read it? I, that I'm not sure right now. Because this doesn't have a judge's signature on it. Okay. And it doesn't have my signature on it. Okay. It has Rebecca McQuaig's signature on it, which pretty much doesn't make this any sort of legally binding document. She wrote me a letter. It's fancy and everything, but it's it's just a letter. She wants to be my pen pal or something. But she doesn't have a courtroom, which means she doesn't have the chair or a robe, which means she doesn't have the authority to make this piece of paper anything other than recyclable to me. So that's no different than. Do you have another you piece gun. of paper? Like, I can write you guys a letter that has you doing yoga and shit, recycling, <laughs> whatever. That, that's, that's what I got. So this is the only piece of paper that you have? That's the only thing I got. All right, now. So I presume you guys understand that you're not going to put your hands on me anymore. I understand. I, I presume since you guys... Did somebody put their hands on you yesterday? that they attempted to. I'm being told that I have to get a pat down to enter a public meeting. At this point, you guys have shown me you don't have any sort of justification to do that. So, under Indiana law, I will defend myself up to and including fatal force. Indiana was very smart to include public servant in their IC code. It applies to police officers as soon as you break the law. Now, if you don't have a reason to do this pat down and you can't come up with any sort of paperwork that can convince a judge to sign their name to it, as soon as you try to prevent me from entering that door and you put your hands on me, anybody in this department, Shaw v. State makes that battery. A sim the slightest touch is battery. Touching someone in the rear end matter. No, it's, there's more to that. That's the Indiana Code. The, the, the Supreme Court case law, you guys need to learn all of it. Like I said, I'm willing to train you for free. You guys want to keep getting sued by me? Like, I'm going to train other people how to do it. It's the first bit of money you guys give me, I'm opening up a resource center. You'll have nonstop little me's coming in here. You guys are going to do everything right. But um, I traveled from my area. I think I am doing things right. I mean, the this whole department. Compared the to whole department. I've seen in other places. Sitting, I mean, sitting silently by while you know people are committing crimes, following orders isn't going to matter in a courtroom to a judge. Like I said, I'm going for RICO, okay. big boy charges. Um, well, that's what I can help you with. As but without this, right so, at this point, I am hereby notifying the police department. If you guys attempt to pat me down to enter a public meeting, if you put your hands on me, I'll defend myself, period, okay. up to and including fatal force. You will have to kill me to take my rights from me. I'm not choosing between open door policy and the Fourth Amendment. Okay. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to have anyone touch me. I'll defend myself. and. I'll defend myself to the death. Like, I'm not going to allow you guys to unlawfully put your hands on me. Okay. All my laws backed up. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm willing to train you guys, man, to, to get this stuff together. But nobody does wants that, to listen I mean, to does me. A, does the city attorney's signature really mean anything? Yeah. Do you often enforce her request? How many other times? Do you have anybody else's? Dude, you that's know? not an order or a law. That's well, a, <laughs> No, we're just asking. No, I'm just asking. asking. Is this a regular practice? The, press, what I, what I, the things it. that I enforce are the law and the lawful requests that my chiefs or assistant chiefs give me. So can I report a crime? So would this? Would you consider this a lawful request from the city attorney? I, that I would have to research myself. That's what we're trying to find out. How come? Apparently, we're four officers that, for whatever reason. Okay. <laughs> You need to go above his, above yeah, him, you above guys, his pay grade. <laughs> I'm going, I need you to, I mean, you're aware at this point, so you can report wrongdoing or not, mm -hmm. but I understand that it puts you in a position to probably lose your job, and, and I'm sad to, to, to be aware of this. Okay. So, um, you tell Julie Smith I'll be at the Police Merit Commission with a notarized affidavit. Okay. On the well-written affidavit side of notarized, well-written affidavit. And my wife is a notary, so. Okay. Um, I absolutely will pass that message along. But uh, the next meeting, I will 
I will not go for any sort of battery. Okay. Like, I will pass that information along also. Please do. You guys only pass along the parts normally that somehow turn me into a threat, oh, no. but nobody reports it. So I'm counting on you to give the whole story. If they touch me, I'll defend myself. Okay. Like, don't let the pretty face and the 135 pounds fool anybody. Like, I'm not, I don't judge people. Yeah, so. Um, all righty. Thank you. Was this there a record? record? I anticipated. Is there a dispatch log? Yes. Was there a dispatch log or call generators for the report last night? Uh, yes, there is. Can I get a copy of that? The report is not completed. That's what I was just told. Okay, how, how long do you guys have to do that? I understand it's like 24 hours it, or something. It depends. That there's no actual, unless it's a dire thing, something going to court or uh, a traffic accident. You locked about 50 people in a room against their knowledge or will. Okay. I, and like I said, I wasn't there, but I do know that there was a case report generated, and it is not complete. When, when can I expect to pick that up? I, I have a certain time limit to file complaints on these issues, okay. so I, I, um, I would try again tomorrow. The longer they take, just know that I'll be pursuing that sure. as a tactical. I, I, I would, I would try again tomorrow. Okay. That, that would be my suggestion to you. I tend to find. 48 to 72 hours for standard police reports. Yeah, for That's just me. Like, like crash reports, the officer has up to 10 days to do the right. state crash report. Right. I'll say when I had my incident the other day with East Chicago, they ain't done shit. So. Okay. All right. All right. You're going to get a good review on YouTube. Um. Because you'll be on YouTube. Oh, okay. Do you know if there's dispatch logs for any other time where they patted me down? Not yesterday, but um, typically there's an officer at, every every time I go to a city council meeting, there's an officer or several there okay. to pat me down. I just actually called your guys' bluff last night and asked for the paperwork. Okay. Um, and that's where the hiccup comes from. In no way have I consented to this, but I'm assuming any time that there's a group of officers there to pat me down, I'm assuming that would be documented as well. Is there any sort of rec Is it only when I refuse to be patted I, down? I think any time that there, there's an incident that they deem where you're not being cooperative or you're being combative. Define cooperative and combative. I, I'm not having any issues with I'm just asking. It's their For perception. The, so right. perception, perception could be different than theirs. Yeah. So if I cooperate with you and you're breaking the law, Am I guilty of breaking that law? Usually I am. Okay. So it's getting real tricky, my interactions with you guys, because I have to, like, be uncooperative to follow the law. Well, you're it's, not being uncooperative with me at all. I'm I mean, conversation. no, last night I'm probably assuming I was deemed uncooperative. The, okay. the parameters you just set forth described last night, and you pretty much set forth the same parameters as justification for... The incidents that I'm describing, you made the link. Um, okay. But fair enough. If they're there breaking the law, and I'm trying to prevent it, I'm not being uncooperative. I'm being a law enforcement officer, essentially. Um, community yeah. policing, yeah. citizens' arrest, things of that nature. Okay. Um, Without the pay. It's <laughs> it's very tricky because all these things don't apply once you start breaking the law and I need you guys to know that because that's how you guys get sued is if you don't know that what you're doing isn't cool because you broke the law earlier in the video so I have plenty of video footage I mean you know who I am I did no you don't you're just getting good advice for free right now based upon your colleagues like you are getting Good, rich information at the expense of your coworkers. Gotcha. And for nothing. There you go. And you don't even have to file a report, I'm assuming. No, I don't, because I have had no problems with you whatsoever. I'm just trying to facilitate your request. Okay. You um, should post like me. I posted the other day. I had an interaction with East Chicago, and I posted on Facebook that I should send them the bill for the education they're getting. Yeah. <laughs> I thank you for this piece of paper, though. Okay. I have this. It's just a letter. and um, That's... I guess, yeah, I guess we'll go from here. We'll see how it plays out. Okay. You guys enjoy. Like I said, please pass along. Um, I will no longer be assaulted simply to be able to walk into a building. And uh, Are you just an officer, sergeant? He's a corporal. Corporal? Yep. Beautiful. I don't know. I'm not from here. I live Thank you, Mr. Toth. Um, All right.
ready. Enjoy the rest of your shift. I'm done. We ate up the rest of the shift. We did. <laughs> well, that's simple. You could be out doing other stuff. Yeah, whatever. So. This is what it is. Thank you, sir. Thank you very All right. much. Good luck. You have a good one. You're welcome. You'll be on YouTube if you want to look for yourself. Oh, like, don't even get on social media. Ah, just letting you know. <laughs> you shouldn't, you, man. It's bad for your brain. Garden right. instead. I like that guy. I do too. I like him. He's he doesn't do anything wrong any time. He just he tries to like figure out how to get around their mistakes and he can't. I give him right. credit. A for I've, effort, man. I've dealt with cops like, like that that are like <coughs> that are legitimately decent cops, but they I have, honestly think they sent him out on purpose because of he doesn't have any sort of like right. attachment to it. He doesn't get upset and whatnot. They have to toe the line between the blue line and and protecting or mm -hmm. you know honoring their oaths. You know, I think yeah. I got in a screaming match with the sergeant in East Chicago yesterday when they threatened to arrest me. And I was like, all you're doing is protecting the blue line. I was like, that's all you're doing. You want to ride back or you want to uh, have a shit or what's up? Because I got to take off. I'll take a ride. Um, I actually got to go to uh, Arby's. Okay. Back by the speedway? Yeah, if you can drop me off yeah. there, I can just make it home from there. That'll be cool. I got to go sign some paper. Go grab two and I'll be on a lot of Yeah, I take up, I take up uh, a bunch of cash checks to drink and take them and 